Recent trends in the industry are making us look at an alternative to uh, air-based cooling solutions for compute and server environment. There are a few things that are driving us to solutions like immersion cooling. In the processor world, we are required to give a certain CAGR of performance from one generation to another. That also means that you know the power density continues to increase. At some point, the server platform is pushing the limits of what you can cool with air, and therefore folks are starting to look at immersion cooling as an alternative. And the second thing that's taking us there is the rise of edge computing, where you know you don't have control of the ambient, and therefore you're forced to look at how you're going to come up with cooling solutions that work in a diverse geographic environment. And lastly, but not the least, is there is a growing consciousness about sustainability and the impact of what we do. That means that of the power that we bring in to our data center, how much of that is actually used for useful work in terms of compute and to reducing that wastage also requires us to focus on technologies like immersion code. In order for an immersion solution to exist, there is a bunch of components that need to come together. The key things that we look at as we look into immersion cooling are how good is the thermal performance? What is the material compatibility of the liquid with all the components that are present in the system? How well it satisfies the regulatory compliance because the regulatory compliance varies across different geographies and it's very country specific. Above all, there is a safety profile that these immersion liquids need to meet for folks to be comfortable enough to be using these liquids in their environment. And last but not least, again, is sustainability again, which is to make sure that these liquids don't pose any kind of a global warming potential or any other harmful effects to the environment. In order to deliver immersion cooling solution, it's different from the way air cool solutions work. In an air cooled environment, you delivered a server that went into a rack, which is a standard size, and the cooling was done after the fact in the data center environment. Whereas in immersion cooling, the tank design, the liquid, all the components that are present in there all have to have an integrated approach. And Intel is partnered with GRC to essentially explore an integrated tank design concept to bring this solution to the market. We at GRC are obviously very excited about having the opportunity to work closely with Intel in developing these immersion solutions because we strongly agree with Mohan's comments that it's an integrated solution that we're going to need to deliver the value that our customers expect from this technology. I think the good news is we've already had some success that demonstrates the value of bringing the ecosystem together. We've recently had some design wins with Intel, as well as with one of our other global alliance partners, Dell. And this is for a um, edge deployment for a 5G rollout with a telecom. We had to collaborate around validating the fluids that were being used, optimizing the server design for immersion. Specifically, one of those optimizations was a new heatsink design that was specific to the immersion fluids that we were using. We had to make sure we were able to handle the optical network requirements of the customer. And even as important as when you are optimizing an air-cooled server uh, for immersion, you need a conversion to immersion process that is scalable and reliable. And that's part of what that collaboration uh, did for us. One of the goals of this collaboration is to find an immersion fluid that meets the performance requirements that we have set for ourselves in terms of delivering the optimal cooling capability to our customers. We are partnered with GRC in exploring a variety of fluids that exist worldwide. And we appreciate the collaboration and the partnership from GRC in helping us test and evaluate these fluids. In addition to the testing that we have been doing with Intel around fluids, there are a number of other variables that impact the performance of immersion cooling systems. One of those is simply the ambient temperature. Now, fortunately, we've also had some experience in the real world with the United States Air Force around testing systems in very hot climates as well as very cold climates. And you can see some of that data on our website in a white paper that the Air Force uh, published uh, on their results. But we're also taking it a little bit further 
and we are doing even more extreme ambient temperature testing uh, using an environmental chamber uh, to see what results and the impact that has. Because particularly as we think about edge applications, it's very likely that immersion systems are going to be deployed in harsh environments. Now, of course, there are other areas to explore as we continue to advance this technology. And that's part of a collaboration agreement that we have with Intel as we look forward. There are gonna be continued uh, opportunities to advance the state of the immersion systems themselves. There are also going to be opportunities for us to advance the servers, particularly creating reference designs, reference architectures, that enable the OEM server providers to accelerate their development of servers that are native to immersion versus using servers that are air-cooled and converting them. There are a lot of cost benefits and performance benefits associated with doing that. And then finally, part of our collaboration includes, you know, as it relates to the sustainability agenda, is there are certainly opportunities to capture that heat um, in liquid form and reuse that heat, whether that be for district heating or potentially even to be recycled as energy back into the data center cooling infrastructure. So tremendous amount of opportunities for uh, Intel and GRC to continue our collaboration. And these are some of the areas we'll be exploring in the future. In order for us to be successful with immersion cooling, a broad ecosystem of players need to come together. This requires immersion cooling vendors, the platform vendors, the silicon vendors, all coming together and working towards a common goal. Through this Intel GRC partnership, we are leading the way in bringing this immersion cooling ecosystem together.